Welcome to the Mujawara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. In today's video, we're diving deep into the latest chapter, One Piece 1098, which left us with a heavy heart. We'll be discussing Ginny's tragic fate and Dragon's controversial decision not to save her. So, let's get started. Recently, One Piece Chapter 1098 came out, and it was easily one of the saddest parts of the whole story. In fact, this chapter goes into a lot of depth about the dark themes that One Piece deals with, and some of the characters that you love end up in terrible situations. Ginny was the one who got the worst cards after everyone else. People have grown to love Ginny during the Kuma flashback, but she was taken away near the end of the last chapter. Chapter 1098 of One Piece showed that Ginny had a terrible life for two years before she finally died. Dragon could have saved her and put an end to her pain, but he decided not to for a number of reasons. Part 1, Ginny's Kidnapping, How Ginny Was Captured A lot of attention was on Ginny during the Kuma's past. Fans know that she is a very important figure for both Kuma and Bonnie. It was 38 years ago that Ginny got away from the Celestial Dragons on the island of God Valley. Ginny went through a lot of pain as a slave for four years before she finally got away and tasted freedom for the first time. She worked hard and became a very respected woman. She was strong enough to lead the East Army of the Revolutionary Army. Before that, though, Ginny was busy keeping Kuma safe while he looked out for the people of the Sorbet Kingdom. Ginny joined the Revolutionary Army soon after the King of the Sorbet Kingdom was overthrown. When the king made decisions that would practically shrink the country and put old people who couldn't pay their taxes in a place where they would probably die, Kuma spoke out against him. After fighting against the kingdom and its forces, he was put in jail. When Ginny and many others heard that Kuma was being jailed, they rebelled too and were caught. The freedom fighters moved because word got out about the bad king of Sorbet Kingdom. They did that for sure, and the country was freed from his bad rule. Ginny and Kuma both joined the freedom fighters because of this. When they joined the group, the freedom fighters changed into the revolutionary army and began to do more good work. Dragon kept making his army better and stronger over the next few years. Eventually, the revolutionary army was strong enough to be considered a good army. On a bad day, Ginny was about to meet Kuma for the first time in a very long time when a group attacked her and gave her up to the celestial dragons. It looks like one of the celestial dragons was interested in Ginny. He wanted to marry her, but Ginny didn't want that. So. They took her hostage and made her marry this celestial dragon. Fans immediately thought that Ginny would be saved by members of the Revolutionary Army when they saw that she was being taken. It came as a surprise that the Revolutionary Army did nothing. Part 2, Why Dragon Didn't Save Ginny Fans were really hoping that Dragon, Kuma, and Ivankov would save Ginny. One reason is that they knew exactly what happened and where she was, but they did nothing anyway. Fans are very upset about this because Ginny was a character they loved and who had already been through a lot which made her sad Dragon did not save Ginny for a reason that much is certain. Dragon is the leader of the Revolutionary Army, and being able to free all slaves around the world is important to him. The Revolutionary Army was not at its strongest when Ginny was taken hostage. They would not have been able to beat the Celestial Dragons. That is why going to Marahoa would have been risky. If Dragon had failed, the movement would have ended. Dragon thought it would be best to wait it out and let Ginny be, even though it was sad Dragon didn't want to put more value on Ginny's life than on the lives of any other slaves. He thought that the best time to free Ginny and all the other slaves would be in a few years, when the Revolutionary Army would be stronger and ready to attack Marahoa. These were his reasons, but fans can have their own thoughts and don't have to agree with what he meant. After giving it some thought, Dragon wasn't entirely wrong in his decision, but there may have been other ways to save Ginny. Part 3. Could Dragon have saved Ginny? You asked if Dragon could have saved Ginny, and the answer is yes. Dragon is the most dangerous criminal in the world and one of the most powerful guys in the world. Dragon would have been very strong even when he first took over as leader of the Revolutionary Army. The people who commanded him were also very strong, and fans know exactly what he, Kuma, and Ivankov could do. Dragon did not want to start a war with the Celestial Dragons because it would have been foolish to do so before they were ready. He could have, however, sent someone into Marahoa to free Ginny and many other slaves. This does happen sometimes. In order to put that into perspective, Luffy made a small invasion of Whole Cake Island to free Sanji, which he did successfully without starting a full-scale war with Big Mom. This also helped his reputation even more, while everyone thought Big Mom lost the battle. This part of the story doesn't show Luffy ready to fight Big Mom yet, but he was more interested in Sanji's head. 
Sanji would later help the Straw Hat Pirates because he was as good at fighting as thousands of other fighters. Similarly, Fisher Tiger, who used to be a slave, climbed all the way up to Marahoa and freed all of the fishmen and a few human slaves as well. He actually set fire to the city of the Celestial Dragons before he was able to get away. Fish Tiger could free a lot of slaves, and Dragon could too. In this case, the main plan would not have been to start a full-scale war, because that would have been stupid. But it would have been easy for the group to get into Marahoa, especially since Kuma had such a useful skill. In the time it would have taken them to get inside, they could have freed several slaves, including Jinny. This would have been a huge win for the group because the army would have then been pushed back. There was a way to save Jinny, even if it was dangerous. Dragon instead decided to be more practical, which is understandable, even if it was the safest option. If someone liked taking risks more, they would do something different and probably still achieve. In the end, One Piece Chapter 1098 has raised questions about Ginny's fate and Dragon's leadership choices. While Dragon's decision was logical, it sparks debates among fans on what could have been done differently. What are your thoughts on Ginny's kidnapping and Dragon's decision? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more One Piece content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for visiting the Mujawara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our funny sketch videos and anime reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy.